Hello everybody, SmartSev here, and welcome to my channel. So my channel will mainly consist of Civilization 6 playthroughs, and here for this video is like a guide to like winning your first game in Civilization 6 as a beginner player. Now when choosing the Civilization, a good amount of them are, are complicated. As a beginner, you want to pick a Civ that's pretty straightforward, and there is no Civ that's out straightforward as Trajan, which leaves Rome. So we will pick Trajan, we will pick Prince Difficulty, which is a, a good starting point for a beginner player. And f for for the map, we will pick Continents. As a beginner player, I would even recommend picking Continents or Pandria. Continents is one for like two, two land masses, and Pandria is one for just one. And for size, I would even recommend small with six players or standard with eight players. We will pick standard. And for the rest of the settings, as a beginning player, I would just leave alone. And now let's get into the game. So, Rome is a pretty straightforward sieve. A, a simplified strategy, which is the main thing you do, um, your unique unit is the region, which replaces the swordsman, so you get it early in the game, and then conquer your opponents, and then pivot towards the victory type, based on the stuff you have acquired for conquering. So, yeah, um, s now settling the city. We want food and production. So a 2-2 two -two tile is generally the best. We'd like to settle around fresh water if possible. I do think settling in place would be reasonable. It, it would eat up a 2-2 two -two tile and the woods, but with a burr you can add, you can do mines on stuff that requires mines, and the copper can get a mine, the stone can get a mine, and then the hill can get a mine, and there can be 2-2 two -two tiles, all of them, so we should be, be fine set, settling right there. does remove the woods, but I'm okay with that. We do get error score. And I will talk about that a little later in more detail, but basically error score, like if, if you have a certain amount of error score, you get into different errors. And the higher error score you can get, if you get, if you, if you get like heroic a ages, which is above golden ages, then you can make more than one dedication, and when the time comes to that, I will talk more about that. So now... So, don't really, like, worry about what you work in, in the capital, like, it's, it, micromanaging the cities is a little bit more of an advanced thing to do. So, because, uh, as well, we give the free monument, because that's our ability, which gives us a significant amount of culture. So, as others said, that's a potential to start it with, but... So, what we want to build first, we could perhaps do a builder, but I would not really recommend that. So, pretty much it's down to like a scout, which gives you really important leak on early in the game. The better you know about, the more you know about the surrounding area and what's around you, the better. So, that's an extremely reasonable thing to do, and also, if we wanted a bit of military to defend ourselves, we could get a warrior or a swinger. And what I do think we'll do is pick up the double scout. And, and we'll probably start with mining. And then after mining, we'll pick up ammo hus husbandry. For these horses. We might want to ha see horses. Like, early on, like, if, if we do not get horses, 
sorry, I, I, I said it wrong. If, when we discover iron, which we need for regions, we can't find any, it's important to have horses to be a backup plan. So we'll grab that and then go on from there. And with a warrior, you want to scout around, but stay very close to the city. So, when we're building our first thing, all, all we do is, is scouting around. Ideally, you want to move where you can, like, scout for most. So, ideally, like, woods, like, you wouldn't really want to move into because your scouting is more limited that way. Okay, we discovered a tribal village. Tribal villages are the important early in the game. They can get you all kinds of rewards. They can, like, get you, like, an, an envoy, which are explain a little later exactly what that is, but basically that an envoy is somebody who gives you city states to get them to to grab suzerainty of them, which when we say states I'll talk about that longer, you can like get like like boost towards the civic tree or the tax tree. Which um makes you unlock the tax or civics like a lot faster than you would normally. You also can get units and money for the lot of stuff you can get for them. So a tribal village around the game is pretty important. We did grab a relic, which if we if we were to go for a culture victory later, which is definitely possible, th that's incredibly important. We get eight tourism and four faith. Which really help, helps us out to get in. Tourism is very central to victory, like I said, and and faith would be good for a religious victory, and definitely help us get an early pantheon. Also, get the Vera score, which is always nice. So, we just continue scouting, pretty much. Look at the area around us, and then determine where it would be a good spot to found a second city. You do, the more cities in Silver Day 6 you, you can get, the, the better it is for you. Okay, we did discover a barbarian encampment. Barbarians do att attack you, so it's, it's important to defeat them. Um, once we get Code of Laws, which actually since it's a loan, we get it. Oh yeah, and usual. e usually as a government says, you get when you turn 15. But one of the big things is you get 5 combat strength when fighting barbarians. And barbarians of the gamut is a spearman, which has a base strength of 25, while the warrior only has a base strength of, of 20. And they also are fortified, which adds even more to their defense. So if, if you just attack them with, without the discipline card early on, it would not go very well for you. So that's pretty important. Okay, so we unlock Code of Laws, which allows us to get our, our first policy slots. So discipline is better and almost... All other cases, because you typically fight barbarians at the beginning of the game. In very rare cases where you wouldn't, you could put in recon. But I wouldn't recommend that like 90% of the time. N now for an ec economic policy slot, normally I would put in God King. So we can get for a Pantheon, but because of a relic, we're already making four faith per turn. So let's put in urban planning. So it is a minor defeat, but I will do this attack. We did take a little bit more damage than we take, but with with three attacks, once you get yeah, it's five out of fifteen. Three attacks can get a battle cry promotion for melee units, which is pretty big. So for the next civic. We could 
either grab craftsmanship or foreign trade. Foreign trade allows you to get trade routes, which are, are big for your economy. Don't really see, like, really anyone to trade with at the moment, so I'm not really think that would be big, but if we had a craftsmanship, we could get a GOG, which would help uh, us get our units faster. I'm not, we're not quite ready for that yet, but, and also if we wanted to, to get the, a builder really quick, that would definitely help with that. So yeah. We have completed our scout. Probably do want to go in a slightly different direction. Um, I, I like going in west because that land looks looks decently good. They just want to know more about it. A scout only has 10 melee strength, while warrior had 20, so we have to be careful with the scout. So I would recommend moving one space at a time. Run into a barbican as a scout, you're in kind of a bad place. So I think we will heal a little bit before we attack again. Barbarians cannot heal, or your warriors can. So I think we'll go here since we can get more scouting that way. Right? here looks pretty decent. It definitely does. So we have unlocked mining, which allows us to construct mines and quarries. Probably will want to get a, a good amount of those in our capital city. Seems it would just make Capo C like way better. Okay, we have met a, a city, the city state of Rapa Nui, which is a culture city state. We have one in the, it, it, it gives us like a cur one culture in the capital and every amphitheater. Then the next level building, art museum, archaeological museum, and consulate. Then in a bucket center and chancery, but we were not the first to to meet them. Since if we're the first to meet them, we get an envoy. The quest they want us to do is train a galley, which we were not coastal, so it would be good to to do so. But I'm not quite sure if we would be able to. We have until the end of ancient era to complete this quest, so it might it it might be possible. So now we get a Pantheon, a really early Pantheon, due to the relic that we got. So typically you want to get the Pantheon based on, on the land around you. From the looks of it, I do see a lot of stone, so perhaps getting the a plus two faith from Corey one would be pretty good. Um, yeah, stone circles. A every quarry we build, which I can only see four things of stone, you get plus two faith, so that's actually like eight faith from every quarry tile. So, th this would be like, uh, after we put a quarry, it would be a two food, two production, two faith tile, which would be really good, so. I think that actually is the best for us right now. And gives us even more of a score. Not sure we want to go for a religion. Simply because as a beginning player, you don't have to. There are religions that but Rome isn't necessarily one of them. I think we have healed enough to attack it again. Yeah, from one more attack we get battle cry, so I do think we can just uh, attack one last time, get battle cry, and then get v a kill there. So the scout just continue to do scouting. If we do get the battle cry promotion, we were built low. Both of us are minus eight, so if he did attack, he would not get the kill since he who loses his fortification bonus. So we, yeah, we should be perfectly fine. He did not attack, um, 
there might be decent stuff up to the north. So, we will look, and we did meet Ham Hamalabi. So, typically, it's best to say it's an honor to meet you, and, like, love to sample your hospitality, so, we have an AI right there. So, actually, pretty, pretty close. So, we have to keep keep that in mind, and he might try to settle the, the land around there, so we have to be... Probably, we have to, like, set, settle there before he does to grab the land. So, with this other scout, we will go to the east. And, because I only have two or three moving left, it can't cross the river. I think it would be actually really good if I just grabbed a builder here real quick. Let's take this promotion, battle cry. Let's give Savage Combat Shank versus Melee and Lane's unit, which is really big in the early game. So, so let's go ahead and grab this kill. We got money from that, which is always nice. Let's do the scouting. Up there's a desert, so we probably want to go around here, but not up to the desert. So now if a warrior, we probably want to just... Heal. Don't really have to bother going back to the city right now because we're not under any threat since those barbarians were defeated. We kind of are tending to like go like at the same place above the scout, so I think I'll continue going out west with a scout to get efficient scouting that would be well nice to get. So he's offering to send me a delegation. I forgot to. I I just it just completely slipped my mind. But yes, the first turn you meet an an AI, you should typically send them a delegation. Typically, typically in most cases, that's what you should do. So we have a barbarian scout, or likely barbarian encampment somewhere around there, and we do not want to let the scout get back to his encampment. Since that would typically just not be very good for us. So if a warrior after he's done healing, we would just like go in that area to clear that encampment. So there's a good amount of Land that would be good to settle. We definitely could could attack the scout. I think we will. And though it is possible, it's from the camp that we cleared. It's following me because once an camera gets destroyed, the, the unit that's like attack all the units they see. So I will know if never to be worried about if the scout does attack me and kills himself. Yes. Was well, from Banner Campment. Just scout a bit to the north. And the scout will probably get the heal. So we have a locked ammo husband, we gave us horses and craftsmanship, but I don't really think we actually want to adopt any of those policies quite yet. So for the next tack, could do a number of things. I think, I think having pottery and perhaps getting a fairly early campus would definitely be a very reasonable thing to do. So that's what we'll do. What we might do is 
get this builder. If I get a couple of satyrs, then get archery, then bronze working to reveal the iron, then get the legend. So, let's see. Do we see any horses? Okay, the horses there and horses there. So, the field. So, if we don't find iron, we definitely could settle them. Discovered yet another tribal village, which is always nice. And for the next civic, let's just grab f foreign trade. And then we could do state war. Cross and empire, then political philosophy. There is a big. Um, there is a big cargo colonization, which gets a 50% production boost towards Sadfors, which is good in the RE game. Let's go ahead and grab a type of village. Get a boost toward Masonry, which is always nice to get tech boost. I think I'll have this Warrior, I could do a bit of scouting down there. Okay, we did meet Singapore. First major civilization to meet him, which means we get on, boy. But this is on. This is an industrial zone city state. With industrial zones and buildings like that, you, you get. A lot more productions when you get a boost in production with with like buildings like buildings work buildings wonders and districts which is always nice um hey once you take of inspiration for foreign trade which is to discover a second continent which we could do that's we can't control that we just explore and hope we discover a second continent so with this builder, likely what we'll do is we could definitely put a mine on both the copper and the stone. So I do think that's what we'll do. And because of our Pantheon, we do get a boost. No, I don't know. We don't get a boost. Um, we do get a boost towards Masonry, but we already got that from our village of Contractor Aquarium, and we just get a lot of extra faith that way. So, yeah, we just continue scouting. Maybe not going to cross the river quite yet, just so I can get a little more exploring done. We'll get rid of the copper now. So let's go for a hill to so continue going out west. That was a bit of a misclick. Boost here to the wheel. Which, as you can see, wheel gives us he heavy chariots, which don't really use that often because it's uncommon for like, un unless we get some bio difficulties where like the AI. It is very strong in other kind of ancient area units that are like incredibly numerous and we use it. Typically it only works for me is classical area. And then there is a water mill which gives us plus food and one production and bonus resource improve my improve my farm, get a food eats and when it's a day and for sure must be a day into a river like that. So it is pretty important for development, definitely. We will cross that river now. So, like, I, I did, like, already queue it up. So, we're working, we're do, working on two satellites to start. We definitely could do the triple satellite, but this is planned. So, we don't really need, a, like, a ton of cities, like, super early in the game. Since the AI won't settle a ton, definitely better to buy difficulties. And, and right here, this, like, 
perfect video. It's vi this is score, which doesn't really matter, since this is a, a, a standard game speed. It, we have up to 500 turns, and you should always win a game before that. This is military strength, which is like of all the units you have. And science want to stay on p science and culture. You want to stay on part of the AI. Which in Prince isn't super hard. And they did make Faith with for Horde Congress, which I will talk about later. And Faith, which I'm, I'm gaining six per turn because of the Relic and the Quarry. So we will go to the Copper. Let's get you into a Scout. Okay, do see Barbarian Scout, so likely was a Barbarian encampment. Up there somewhere. We'll try to see if we can find any such encampment. We did get figure we go for foreign trade, which finished the technology for us. Which for it, it helps us get navy units faster, but if you're being a naval self, would be a good thing to do. It gives you trade routes, and you also can make more money from trade routes if you want to. And that was the quest Singapore wanted us to do. So we're one on the way from being sued for them. Um, I do think we will grab state workforce, actually. We get access to the government plaza, which is a good district to build our way game. I will explain more on that later in this game. Okay, there's an encampment there. Probably want to take care of it at some point, but I don't really have to do that right now since it is decently far away from me at this moment. So if I look at it, that's a barbarian galley from somewhere. But we don't really care about that since galleys are melee units, which means they can shoot, and if we're not coastal at the moment, we don't really care about galleys at all. I think that's another barbarian scout. So we do have a bit of money. So we could do quite quite a bit with that. We could we could buy a few things if we wanted to. And early in the game, like we could get only a trade route, or we could wait till we found our second city. And then purchase a builder there, which I think that is what we'll do. So we'll just hold on to the money we have. So I think that is enough AI. The reason I can tell that is city states are dotted and AIs are not. But yeah. Okay, we have to discover part of the way us uh, to get the great bath and the granary. The granary is an important early ability, especially if you do not have access to fresh water. So only three hours to start with. Okay, we have discovered Metwa. We were the first to meet them. So, Boos, they want us to train an archer. Which we definitely could do. I think we will discover, we will research archery next. we we'll grab another 2-2 two -two tile. Once again, in, in, in the early game, don't remember about 
don't really worry about like micromanaging your time, especially as like the game player. Like if you're not like making any food or like you're severely lacking in production, then maybe I consider it. Like if that, you could probably just like say work on food or work on production. But we're not gonna do that. Um, that is a barbarian scout. Don't really see a reason to attack it. Okay, we have met Amber Barca. Um, I'll say it's nice to meet you. Um, what family hospitality? Send delegation. Well, we'll look and see how many cities he's at. I do that sometimes. Don't really need you. I just do. I think we will continue our exploration with the scout. Um, this fortified, like, in case we attack, which I don't really think we will. But that's on the safe side. He has sent us delegation. We'll accept it. The reason not to be friendly with AIs. Beginning game. Um, pretty much, like, found out as much as we could around this area. We probably should find out where we're going to, like, settle our next two cities, which you can add a map tag. So, again, you want food and production. So, setting me right here would be pretty big. Okay, you will not get fresh water. But you have real good food and real good production. I mean, you could make an argument for settling on, on the 1-1 one, one tile. Because we do get the river. I'll, I'll delete that. Um, but I, I do like settling on these hills better. And then I probably like settling these hills as well. So that is an option, but we could also go one up or like there. I I actually like set going up here on the two food tile because so there's nothing wrong with. So we're down there, but you get access to a 2-3 tile, a 2-2 tile, a 2 2, tile, two, two, two. You have two, two, two woods tiles, um, a mine there, um, a plantation once we reach the irrigation, which we haven't quite yet. Could you have a scouting? Oh, I forgot to mention, Mid was a scientific city-state. Which means in... In every library and then where well, university console and research transfer you get an you get extra science, which is pretty big. Okay, there was a flood here which makes the tires more fertile. Which there's any production here but once we do get another builder in there, then we will get a lot more food. Okay. So it, it does look like Hammurabi Hem settled there. So we should probably s go for here first to make sure he doesn't forge Salas anymore. We'll continue to explore. And we still have another tribal village. We've been pretty lucky with tribal villages in, in this game. So, now we probably can't, like, go for that encampment. Got a booster bond working, which, which is big for us, since we're going for bond working pretty soon.
we probably might want to like stop off of a campus just so we can like get fine and working a bit faster. So, so again, the scouting met Hong Kong for another but I can say state. Um, what do they want us to do? Trent Galley. I don't think we're going to do that. Though I would like to, though. I don't really think it's going to happen. Oh, I left this guy fortified. That's a mistake. Let's scout here some. And, like, as a big game player, like, you certainly do what I just did. You should, like... And also, you should keep your settlers protected in most cases. But I, for a fact, know that we're not seeing barbarians in, in the way. Like, if I wasn't sure of this area, or, like, I knew barbarians in the area, definitely put someone else there. Oh, and, and right here, the central lines, the, the red says where you cannot find a city. And the, and the loyalty basically just means, like, you cannot just, like, randomly go, like, right in the heart of someone's empire and found a city right there. So, yeah, just get down go to the encampment. We found a second city. Don't think we'll get Bill Gates and Koya, like I said, we'll purchase a builder. We have one out of two housing, so. It's definitely reasonable to work on a granary. Probably also trader. We do not have luxuries, so but once we do have luxuries, we definitely can sell them to the AI. But we don't have any luxuries as of now. Actually, it'd be good to work on a to get a trader at some point. Do not need a trader yet, though, so we'll worry about that later. See if they think of a south over as an encampment. He might have got himself killed, but I don't think so. Since since we have a warrior, I can't attack him. But that's still not a good spot to be in. Yeah, it was perfectly fine right there. See if there's anything over there. Probably just get coins, we actually gain a lot of faith. So, we'll move away from that. Definitely. Let's go and take this game in. Like, go in defensive touring. Like, in case he has idea of attacking. Can you remove the scout? It looks like there's an encampment there. Could perhaps get the kill of the scout. Not sure if I should, should or not, though. So, in Brutilli, what would really help is if we got a, a trader. Which, which, likely before we do military, we should get a trader here, put in Brutilli, trade for capital, just get some production, stuff like that. That would be really nice. So, we will start taking this encampment um, to basically identical damage. 
I'm gonna see if he would attack with Scout. Okay, we have discovered a natural wonder. Let's give this and what's going to boost your body also promotion. It's always nice to set around natural wonders. They give you a good yield. Oh, we also met Banner Brunei, which I believe is a, a gold state state. Yeah, that's what everyone wants to do. Oh, we could have gave lighter. Well, at some point, but probably not soon. Yeah, natural wonders have like really good yield, so it's really good to set around natural wonder if possible, but you typically don't get to do that super often. So, for two choices for promotion, faster movement in hill terrain or woods and rainforest. For lots of woods and rainforest, so like whatever terrain, like there's more, like where you are, is what you should grab, so we'll grab the range of promotion. We will grab, um, mine here. And both are nearly dead. Might heal for a turn or two before getting the kill. That's not particularly good for Puto, he's losing loyalty. It's point seven, so it's not a ton, but we probably would like to get a governor in there at some point. But probably if we found out city, it won't really be a problem. If it's losing like a lot of loyalty, you have issues, but that's hardly anything. Probably here for like two turns, roughly. So now we're gonna put a mine here. Okay, I'm both sending me a delegation. Good. Oh, we did attack a city soon. Okay, so there, there's an archer there. But you grab a promotion. But what do you want to research next? Definitely could grab writing. Since I think a Nori campus is definitely p possible. Let's see if we actually can grab a friendship with him. He does accept, which is good. We like that. So once again, could you ask County? There's a barb there. Um, we have healed enough. We can clear. Oh, really? Thought I would give a kill there. I guess it, I did it. Go mine here. Boost your apprenticeship, which is... We've had a lot of mines, and apprenticeship is definitely not mine, but we get man arms and industrial zones. We'll talk about that when I get to that, but that will be a while from now. Don't think I want to fight for Scout. No, sorry. I don't want to fight Archer with my Scout. Let's do some exploring. So we've like state workforce. Which we're not really building wonders, but we have unlocked a government plaza. Which gives us government titles. And the buildings after that are like really good. So we probably would like government plaza. We don't really need an RA campus. We definitely could. We might do is build a tra a trader here, um, and then you will get a government plaza. We definitely could get it on capital, but we don't necessarily need to. We can get our stuff in on capital. So, what do you think we could do? We could 
So, so pretty much you either do Pingala, which gives you a pretty strong increase in sense and culture, or you put Magnus, which, if you're chopping a lot, which we definitely could chop a few times, chop woods in our second city. So, I think we will put him in Putoi. And also, since we own, we're not really behind the AI that much, and we probably actually might get a campus here and then just do a lot of military. We could be going for wonders, but... I that's definitely a possible thing, but you don't really have to, if I could go for one who's super early, because the AI don't really build that many wonders. So, definitely could, we definitely will give a go here. Got 50 gold, nice. Could we are getting actually decently close to putting in a trade, we actually could. So we just eliminate that. Need. Could go maybe just like grab an archer really quick. Don't really need to attack, no. Good deal with Yonin. Okay. Okay, where's the Bubba Game and okay? Good patrol here and take care of it. You. You scout. One food, one production, one faith. We don't really need gold right now. We're making money. It's on 5.4 production, which is actually pretty good. I only have one citizen. So settle here. Continue scouting with you. Probably can pick up an archer, definitely. Probably want a, f a few archers in, in addition to all of our legion. And probably also on catapult in case walls come up. I think a scout attack me, okay. So it was a flood, so. Tiles around my capital city would be pretty for a tile, definitely. A tribal build right there, which would be definitely nice to pick up. Look, he's attacking me, so I'll, I'll attack a scout. Um, that's going probably attack me again and give a kill. Oh, looks like the the scout for trying to plunder my trade route. I'm not sure if you will or not. So Putoi definitely is short in housing, but it's gonna get for granary, so it'll be granary, so it'll be fine. See what's over there? Um we could attack a scout. Um probably don't necessarily need to, but it would be nice too. But anyway. What do Babel as you assign with the satellite? I really hope he doesn't forward settlement. I hope he doesn't settle around there. That we might have a bit of problems. Okay, I think my trade route might get pillars, which would which is definitely gonna be annoying. Go found the city lost, you know. Okay, you just grab a builder, because that's what you need. Okay, give a kill. The population, oh. 
Now it's got bars working. We do have a lot of faith. No, having an archer would be nice to take care of encampment. I can actually get a pretty quick campus. That would actually be a great campus. So when you, I'm not sure if it's worth it, but we could. Let's, let's get up a plus one cap, even though it's not super great around there. Okay, yeah, my trade route did get pillaged. Which is annoying, yes. Okay, I'm Morocco. Send allegations over a bit friendlier. Pretty much daycare of encampment. Um, definitely should get for trade again at some point. M maybe you can build a trader. Yeah. Did this guy? This guy will get you this guy. Um. Once more he also wake up our ship and we'll just take out that camera. Lock our empire. So we so just keep our urban plan for now. Once it's our urban units, we will do that. Promote Magnus. Do point off for trade, trade with ending. You provide plus two food of starting city, yeah. Yep. And for our Pacific, let's do a political philosophy and grab our tier 2 government. Now, but only for housing, so it will go fine. They might also pillage some of of my improvements, which would not be good. Do I? Th Do I think it would be good if we just get right here? That's not good. I could get a campus real quick. Then we could just go ahead and build our regions. And archers are definitely really good if they ain't there right killing units. That's the main use. If they aim for, for, dare I say, maybe the best unit. So I think taking the campment is is actually like the best strategy in this case. So yeah, I guess that will about do it for episode one. So I I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it like informative about like set, settling the cities and like how to develop your cities. Fortunately I didn't like have like any like true play close to here to like do what is so called like fog busting, which is like st standing in, in a place like that. So, no barbarians gonna spawn, but we should be able to easily take it. And then after that, we should be able to go to military and take a Babylon. So, yeah, that's all. I and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye.